everybody, Boxbo coming back at you again today. I got David. I got this guy from David Moore, um, Moore Unlimited. Um, and this is a Leary Line Tiger, Pure Coastal. Absolutely a gorgeous boy. I want to talk to you guys. I've been seeing a lot of problems with people and not knowing what to do with our eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna let's break it down. Okay, your snake, you got a, you got a snake. It's got an RI. Okay, you've never experienced, you never had it. Get online, start doing research. Okay, that's great. Now, I also understand not everybody can take their animal to a vet. But what a lot of, uh, of us experienced keepers do is we keep Tylen 200 on hand at all times. And make sure you pay attention to the expiration dates and stuff like that. Um, I keep this on hand at all times. I have it to treat our eye. Now, that being said, okay, I have, I get to say David here started giving me symptoms of an RI. A little bit of raspiness. I open his mouth, he's got a little bit of mucus in there and stuff like that. Obviously, he don't, right now he's going shh, because he's been crawling around on me for a little bit, but he's absolutely a great boy. But say, you know, okay, I notice, you know, because I check on my snakes several times a day. So I notice he gets a little raspy. I open his mouth, I notice it's a little mucusy in there. Okay, I'm not going to run to the vet right away. Uh, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Tylen. Um, I have about, probably what, I go, I don't even know how many of these I have, probably what, 50? Because I buy them in that bag. Probably more. Yeah. Around and there. I buy needles, um, they're small gauge needles. I put it in there, I pull it out, but before I do all of that, I'm going to weigh my snake. I got to know his weight. Now, I'm not going to tell you how much to give your snake on Thailand because I don't know your snake. I don't know how much your snake weighs, and... If you ask me, I'm not going to tell you because it's up to you. I'm because I don't want you blaming me for your snake dying because you didn't do the dosage right. So definitely do your research on how to dose your animal. Um, but after I get the weight and I realize that I'm going to give him his first injection. Now what I do, he's real easy. You know, say I had to give him a snake. You know, you want to sit there and ride along. Here's their spine. Okay, so. Right along here is their spine. You don't want to inject it in their spine. You don't want to inject it straight down. You want to go to the side of the, where there's muscle right here on the side, away from the spine, and come in at an angle. And you're going to give him his medicine. Then you're going to sit here and rub it in. And then you're going to put him back in his cage, okay? Now you can do F10 and nebulizer treatments and stuff like that. And some people say it works. I've done it before. I've had mixed results. I've had it work somewhat, and, I, and I've had it work not. I mean, it, does it help break the snake up? Yes, but a snake can't cough or sneeze. So if you do do an nebulizer treatment with F10, um, make sure you have branches or something in there for it to climb on so it can hang its head straight down so the mucus can run out. A lot of people forget that snakes can't cough or sneeze. You know, so that's so you got to have something for them to perch on so they can hang their head down to drain out. I'm going to give my animal that injection, okay? Some people inject every day. Some people inject every two days. Either way, I do it for two weeks. I inject every other day. Okay, so if I don't notice an improvement by the third shot where I feel like that it, it is getting not necessarily worse but not necessarily better or if it's not, or if it's getting worse, now I'm going to take it to the vet. Now why? You know, are they going to give me some new magic antibiotic? No, but I need to have... They are going to give me different antibiotics and stuff like that. There's a whole list of antibiotics um, that they can go through. Now, most vets don't know how to dose their animals. I get calls from a lot of different places saying, you know, hey, you know, I heard you know how to dose your animals. So, and I, and I talked to them about it. And, and, and my buddy David Moore also has this list that, you know, has good antibiotics on there um, that's recommended for snakes. But they're harsh. So you got to be careful because you can burn up their kidneys. You can burn up their liver. You know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with it, but it's sometimes necessary. I don't believe in that homeopathic junk that people like to try and lie about and say, oh, this is the magic cure, this homeopathic stuff. No, that's why they invented medicine, you know, um, when it comes to treating your snakes. Um, I've seen a lot of bad videos on that, and they're just begging to have a snake die on you. Um, but... I take to the vet. The reason why I take to the vet, I did. I digress there. I'm gonna go back. So it's not getting better. Thailand isn't working. 
I'm going to go to the vet. I'm going to have a culture done. I'm going to have a swab done and culture done so I know exactly which type of bacteria I'm working with so that way I can develop a better strategy with my veterinarian on an antibiotic course to treat my animal for RI. You know, so that's the thing. You know, I start off with Thailand. If it doesn't improve or if it gets worse, then I'll take it to the vet. I'll have a culture done. I will find out what what bacteria is going on here? What's at work here? Then, like I said, we will devise a plan of what antibiotic to use. And sometimes when you do an antibiotic treatment, it doesn't work. You want to give it, you know, about two or three weeks off, and hopefully the animal is still surviving by then, and you start a different antibiotic treatment, and hopefully that one will kick it. Sometimes they just get bad respiratory infections. Um, you know, don't automatically think that if your snake has respiratory infection, it's got nidovirus. That is something you need to do a swab or two and have that sent off to to find out that. And even if it does have nidovirus, you still got to treat the respiratory infection. You know, so I definitely recommend, you know, getting, doing Thailand, doing your research on it, learning how to do it, you know, and there's lots of videos out there that will, that will show you how to inject it, and there's people that will tell you how much to dose your animal. I'm not one of them people. I'm not going to show you how to dose. I'm not going to tell you how much to use because I don't know your snake and I don't want to get blamed. I just think you should, every every person that has a collection should keep this on hand. It's like 50 bucks. Cost me fit. I buy a new bottle every single year. It cost me 50 bucks at Tractor Supply Company. Um, the other antibiotic I keep on hand is Batril, um, which is I don't have. I didn't bring upstairs. Um, that is, that's an antibiotic that if Thailand don't work, I might give Batril a try and the Batril don't work, I'll do, I'll do the vet. But usually, I, I, I don't really like to use Batril a whole lot. Um, I'd like to give Thailand, Thailand the first shot. So that's, that's the thing with our eyes. And, and so, just because you get a snake with our eye, doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Learn from it. Um, I want to talk more about our eyes. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you kept your snakes too cold and that's why it got in our eye. That is a myth. Okay, your snake did not get in our eye because you tep kept it too cold. They're cold blooded. What happens when they when they can't get warm is they just go, they lay down, they they don't move, they they try to not you waste any energy trying to conserve as much heat as they absorbed already from the sun or from whatever heat source you provided them. But why do they get in our eye if they've been too cold for too long? If you keep a snake too cold at too cold of a temperature, not set it at the right temperature for that snake, that snake is in constant stress. What happens when you stress? Same thing what happens with us. Your immune system breaks down. And when your immune system breaks down, that's when infections and colds and things like that can attack your body. And that's what happens to a lot of snakes. A lot of people tell you, oh, it's because you kept it too cold. No, what you did is you kept it cold, which stressed the snake out, which led to a respiratory infection. Or same thing can happen if you keep it too hot. Same thing can happen um, uh, with breeding. You know, a, a male wants to breed or a male can't breed. I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to breed. But, and you have two snakes. And all of a sudden, you're not planning on breeding them, which is fine. But then you wonder why that snake, once a year, gets an RI infection. Well, it's because he wants to breed. He can't get out. He's stressing out because he wants to get to that female. You know, so, you know, you got to find out the root cause of what's causing the RI. You know, are you keeping your animal at too cool of a temperatures, you know, for too far too often? Like you, your temperatures aren't in the optimal range of where they should be. Are you? Are they having too high of a spike of temperatures for far too long? You know, are you sitting there stressing them out? You have a snake that isn't wanting to eat, so you're constantly messing with it, constantly throwing a live rat in it, a live mouse in it, trying to force feed it. Force feeding, even when I do, and I've done it to save a lot of snakes. I too, I truly believe in it. Um, I do as a last resort. I might for force feed a snake once, every, once a month, and once every two months, just to keep it healthy until it starts getting going on its own. You know that's going to cause stress. So can a snake get an RI from that? Yes, of course it can because it's stressing out. You're bothering it. You know, so the biggest thing you can do is just you know let the snake be a snake. Sometimes you know I see people doing things that are is causing stress related things. You know. Another thing that I know, I know a lot of people get RIs from um, is when they keep uh, rodents in the same room with the reptiles, which I understand a lot of people do that and some people have no problems. Other people will do that and they'll get respiratory infections constantly and you're like, why? Well, think about that. Do you know how nasty the, the rat waste is? 
Yeah, that's bacteria air. Them snakes are constantly breathing. They're not, you know, you don't have a window open, no fresh air is coming in. So that's bacteria they're breathing in. And also, they're stressing because now they can felt, smell this prey food, this prey item that they can't get to, which causes stress, which can lead to respiratory infections. There's a whole host. So that's what I'm saying. Make sure you pay attention to what your snake is doing, your snake's wants and needs, and what is causing your respiratory infections. What led to its immune system becoming weakened to get to this. And then also, when you do get a respiratory infection, you need to disinfect the cage. Use F10, use bleach, you know, something like that, where you're disinfecting the cage and everything that's on it, so that way you're killing the bacteria. So that way, when you do put the snake back in this enclosure, it's going into a fresh, clean enclosure, not a, an enclosure that has bacteria in it. So those are just some things I wanted to cover on respiratory infection. Um, I know it's you know it's a hard topic. Like I said, every keeper should keep this on hand. Um, make sure you speak to an experienced keeper. If you have an experienced keeper that's local to you, get a hold of them. But they know what they're they're a good keeper and they know what they're doing. They know what this is and they know how to use it and they will give you advice just like me if somebody if I know somebody in my town that needs help with Thailand I will help them on injecting their animal and telling them but when it comes to the internet and stuff like that don't ask me because I won't tell you not because I'm trying to be rude or mean or anything like that but I'm not going to be blamed for your animal not making it um, so that's what I wanted to cover today so hopefully you guys got that and you understand where I'm coming from what I'm talking about um, Hopefully you guys have a blessed and positive day because you guys know I'm going to. Please like, click, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload or you know when I go live. And this is Priest behind the camera, always doing that good camera work for me. And I got David here. And uh, this is Boxbo saying peace. You gotta love